Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part five of the same topic. Here we'll start with this exercise 14.3. So a keyword has a total surface area of 160 meters square and lateral surface area of 120 meters square. You have to find the area of the base. So here we first we'll start with the total surface area of a cube by the formula is twice into area of base plus the lateral surface area so the total surface area is given 160 so below this one we will write here 160 twice area of the base plus here we have we have the lateral surface area that is 120 so now this if you bring this is on the right hand side if you bring it this on the left hand side so it is going to be minus 120 that is area of the base twice area of the base so here this is going to be 40 is equal to twice area of the base so this is actually multiplication so it is going to get divided so this will be 40 as it is so this will go in the denominator that is the area of the base so this will be 20 so 20 meters square is the area of the base that is what they asked if the total surface area of a cubical box is 864 centimeters square, find the age of the cube. So now let us take the age of the cube. Let you can say that will be L centimeter. So total surface area of the cube, because it is a cubical box. So this is if it is the total surface area of the cube, that is 6 L square, because we are taking the age as L. So we can write it 6 L square. And the, this is given as 864. So below this, we will write here 864 is equal to 6L square. So this is multiplication. So this will get divided. 864 divided by 6, that will be L square. So when you divide this one, so this is going to be 144 is L square. So when we square both the sides, so what is that? This 144 is a perfect square of what? 12. So we can say L is 12 centimeter. And this L is the age of the cube. So they ask what is find the age of the cube. So we can say, we can write one more sentence over here. Therefore, age of, a, of the cube, this will be 12 centimeter. So two closed cuboidal metal tanks are to be painted from inside to avoid rusting. If one tin of paint can paint 5,000 centimeters square, of the area, find which cuboidal tank will require more number of tins and by how much. So this is the figure. These are the two tins given. So this is tank one. The, um, tank one and this is tank two. So now we'll start with the tank one. So we, what we can see the length is five meter. The width is 1.5 meter and the height is two meter. So now we'll take the surface area of a cuboid. So surface area of a cuboid means this will be twice LW plus WH plus LH. Now see here, this is length, width and height. So we'll take this LW. Then we'll go with this WH. And then we'll take this and this together, LH. Because many of times, many of them have confusion with this formula so i'll repeat it first this and this this you are going to multiply lw then wh and then you will take lh so now we have the dimensions given over here so this length is given 5 width is 1.5 then width is 1.5 height is 2 length is 5 and the height is 2 so now see here this is multiplication so we have these are the three terms and this is plus so we have to separately this we have to multiply this one 7.5 this will be 3 and this is going to be 10 and you are going to add together so be careful with this calculation so now what will be there when you add this together that is going to be 20.5 this 2 will be as it is so multiply this one so that will be 41 meters square so this is the surface area of the tank one now we'll see for the tank two so the dimensions here are 5 1 and 3 length is 5 the width is 1 and the height is 3 so again, we are going to use the same formula, surface area for this one. That is, the, the tank is in the form of a cuboid. So now, we will just plug in the values. 
So multiply this one 5 plus 3 plus 15. So this together is going to be 23. So this will be 46 meters square. So now what we can see this is 41 meters square and this is 46 meters square. So now what did they give you? That if one tin of paint can paint 5000 centimeters square of the area, find which keyboard filter means now see here. For one tin of paint can cover 5000 centimeters square. This is given in meter, meter square, and this is in centimeter square. So, what we have to do first, this thing centimeter square, we will convert it to meter. Then I'll show you how to convert it because it is a square. So, you know, 100 centimeter is one meter. So, if we take the square of this one, so this will be 100 means when you take 100 into 100, that is because it is a square. So, there will be four zeros. There will be four zeros. So, this is going to be centimeter square. So, that is one meter square so we will have 5000 centimeters square so below this centimeter square we are going to write this 5000 will be how much meter square so what will you do you are going to cross multiply so whenever these two numbers are there 5000 into one that is going to be 5000 will be in the numerator and this 10000 will go in the denominator so when you cancel out these zeros the 5 divided by 10 that is going to be 0 0.5 meter square so this is the important step what you have to do and now what we can do one meter of we can write here now paint can cover that is we already got here 0 0.5 meter square so now we will see for for the tank one we will see 41 meter square so what will be that 41 meter square because below this meter square will so will cross multiply 1 into 41 that is going to be 41 divided by 0 0.5 you can divide and see here so that is going to be 82 teens or we can i will show you this one 41 0.5 means we can write 5 by 10. So this will be, this is the numerator, this is the denominator, 41 into, this will get flip over, that will be 10 by 5. So here it is going to be 5 ones are 5 twos are, so that is going to be 82 tens. And now for tank 2, we'll do the same one. We got already this one, one tin of paint can cover 0 0.5 meter square. So for the tank 2, we got 46 meter square this one so below this will write here so this will is going to be when you cross multiply 46 divided by 0 0.5 that is going to be 92 tens so now what you can see this is 82 tens and this is 92 tens for tank 2 so we can say tank 2 will require 92 tens which is how many times this one how much time this is more so tens are more that 92 minus 82 so that will be 10 so that which is 10 more than tens than 10 one so we can say therefore tank 2 will require 10 more tens than 10 1. If the age of a cube is treble, what will be the change in its surface area? Now you know surface area of a cube because this is a cube is the formula is 6x uh, uh, square. So now we can take the original age of a cube. Let us consider this one because this said after changing means that will be the new, uh, new change that is will be the new age so don't let the original age of a cube be s so if age is treble they said right the age of a cube is treble means the new age length will be treble means it will be three times so that is going here is original is s so it is going to be 3s so now what happens here so the new surface area this was the surface area means this was the original one so the new this side is going to be just only the side is going to be treble means this is going to be three s so what we can write here so be careful with this one six will be as it is only this in place of this s you are going to write here three s and this the whole bracket square so now see here when we write here three s and whole bracket square so what we have to do we have to this into this and this into this one so three square is going to be nine and this is going to be s square so be careful with this one. So this will be 9 s squared. So this will be 54 s squared. So we got new surface area that is 54 s squared. So we want a change. So now change in surface area means what we can do area of new divided by the area, area of the initial this one. So what we will get here 54 s squared and the original was that is 6. So this s square and s square gets cancelled. Six ones are six nines are. So that is nine. So change in surface area means it is nine times. So we can write here surface area will be nine times larger than the original surface area. 
so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts thank you